Alright, part three, here we go. So, I wonder how far away the next town is and how strong the enemies are between. Ah, these things are nothing. Good. Can't do anything with those deers yet. Actually, I'm, I don't think I've ever done anything with them ever. Across the bridge, I believe. Hmm. I think my controller might be running out of power. Lasted a very long time. A couple of months, in fact. Granted, I don't use it every day, but still lasts a pretty long time. I just hope it doesn't start running out in the middle of this recording. Normally it, like, flashes around in a circle. Now... The game does get a bit... Where do I go? I believe I have to come here at night time and sneak past the guards. Am I thinking of another game? Let's see. Yep. Come here at night. You can't do it during the day. They don't want you in. I don't think I can use the aim right now. They're quite easy to sneak past. Let me see if I can remember the... I have to go past this one. Nope. All they do is chuck you out. There's no... And then just try again. Could have sworn, unless I'll have to go... Ah, there we go, okay, and I'll go down here. Down here. Down here. Now, was it this way? One has gone the wrong way. I think... It's supposed to go up this way. Behind him. And into the castle. Oh! Damn, man! I was barely anywhere near him. Alright, let's try again. So that's... No! Stop walking. Ah, oh, I was too high up. <laughs> I've done this a million times and I still can't get it right. It is a little bit clunky, like they can spot you quite well for 16-bit sprites. This sort of thing was particularly annoying in at the new Aliens game. You had to sneak past humans and robots and they spot you so easily. Alright, here we go. I think you need a key. No, you don't. My mistake. What's down here then? Oh, I think this is the dungeon. I think. Oh, ah, yeah, this is really hard. The enemies down there are tough. I'm gonna have another look around before I go down there. That is the way you're supposed to go. But I'm just gonna see if there's anything I can. Yeah, you know, any items I can loot, etc. It's a shame there's no run button. He walks quite slowly. Thing there. The throne room. Nothing there either. I think you come here later. I think I am just supposed to go straight down. I kind of had to check. I haven't done this in a while, so... don't know what that's about. Yeah, nothing yet. Alright. 
Now hopefully, I will not die down here. But it's quite lengthy, a little bit tedious. Right, so that's the way I'm supposed to go, so we're going to go left. See, these, these like labyrinth like places, the best thing to do... Oh great, I think I've only got one out of there here. The best thing to do is go the way you're not supposed to go. Now, if I run into too many of these, this could be problematic because I don't have that many antidotes. One antidote. I wonder if I can still access the shops outside. Or if I can just find a bunch of them in here. Ah. I think those things aren't too common, but I do remember them getting a bit annoying. Alright, cool. More chance to dodge those stupid poison monsters. That's a lot of money. I just want to run into these. I do not want to run into poison bugs. Right way. Oh, I shouldn't have gone down that way. That's an annoying thing as well. The screen, the, the map's so big. The longer I spend down here, the more likely I have to run into poison bugs, and I really don't want to right now. Beast, that's uh, just an item that hurts enemies. It's okay, it's not the best. Oh, I think I actually want to go up there and get the chest. Put it run into poison monsters. I'm not worried about these because they've just got like crap tons of herbs and they always drop herbs. Ah, good! I'll probably run right into the bloody monsters now, won't I? I only had gone there in the first place, eh? Oh well, more money, more experience. Ah, what do you know? As soon as I pick up an antidote, look what I run into! Isn't that just typical? Ah, I found the button I need that. It's R1. That's how I open my uh, infantry. Okay, hang on. Yeah, up here. There's about two other floors, I think, in here. Oh. Well, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Honestly, I don't know what... I don't think there's a huge amount you can do about it. Because even if you bought a bunch of antidotes, I mean, you're going to run into enough of them that they're going to be problematic. Hopefully I'll pick up another one soon before I run out of hell.
Oh great, another left or right decision. Uh, be better off restarting and getting the antidote again from the start. I think that probably suit me best. And left this chest, these two chests on antidotes. Arm pad. Okay, it's not bad. Yeah, fine. Good. I think there's a button you can press in your battle, unless I'm thinking of another game. You don't have to keep selecting it. 70 GP, okay. See, the boss is down those giant stairs there. Now I'll tell you what I'll do, I will stop recording for a minute, load the game, you don't have to watch me do it again, and I'll get to this exact same point and you'll barely even know what's happened. How cool is that? Alright, I only encountered one poison monster on my way back here. So I've still got an antidote left. Which is useful because being poisoned sucks. Oh god, again. No, I don't care. But... I really hope I don't have to go through too many of those. Attack the glooms first, they shoot lightning and they're very annoying. See, they still do 12 damage. Even though they're weak as crap. Ugh. Close on to leveling. Probably a long way off. It's better be an ander. Firestone, okay. I have a Dolly Parton song stuck in my head. The one, here we go again. It's uh, quite... What's the word? I can't think of a word. It's quite that word that I can't think of. Pertinent, that's the word. Yeah, it's quite pertinent. Here we go again. Because not only have I done this dungeon like 50 million times. I don't mean this afternoon. But you know, I did have to stop because I didn't have any antidotes, and I needed an antidote. Cure, that's a good healing thing. You don't really want to use that unless you're absolutely desperate. I'm at my level now, herbs will do the job, generally. I'm saying that. These bloody things are going to take my life right down if I'm not careful. Ouch! Ah! I better use another hub. All right. We almost there. Boss is right through here. Save it. I don't think it's too difficult a boss, if I recall. I think it's quite straightforward. Just hit and heal. Ah, oh, he has a lot of health. But I think after this you get a really good item. Well, maybe I'm... maybe not. I might be wrong. 
Anyway. Man, I don't have any magic right now. He hits very hard. I might not have enough herbs to beat him. He has a lot of health. He hits hard. Oh, damn. Yeah, this is probably not going to go that great. I might be underleveled. I might actually need to use the beam. Yeah, I'll use the stones on him. You use these, they do more damage than I can do. See? That helps. Use another herb. I probably don't have enough. I probably am going to have to grind. He's pretty strong. Just make sure if you're going to use these stings. Stones. That didn't do much. Don't use them when his health's run out, or when his health's low, because he'll just go into like. Well, his, his second health bar will come on. Clearly under geared on the level. Oh man. Use another herb there, because you can do it twice in a row. You get teleported to the surface after you beat him, which I doesn't look like I'm actually going to be able to do. At least I'm faster than How many have I got left? I do have a cure as well, so that's that's good. Not that I really need that. Oh, I wish I'd get a counter attack or a miss or something. That would really help me here. But critical. Here. I think I can survive one more hit from him. Ah, oh, he's got recover. Ah, oh, good. That doesn't do that much anyway. <laughs> Haha! <laughs> Counter attacking noob! Oh, that's not good. I still don't think I've got him close to the brink, but I, I really don't think that I'm gonna stop him at this rate. She's in recover though, what a jerk. And then he's got a second life bar on top of that. Alright, we're almost out of healing time to you. This might be a fail. I've got one healing item left of me. I'm screwed. Damn. What have I got? Just cure. That's not great. He has a bit more health than I'd like. Yes, good. Counter's good. Why can't you do that more often? He's almost onto a second life bar. I'm probably going to die trying to kill him. Ah! I might get lucky. But he does have a lot of health from this point. Like, it takes a while to actually finish him off. Oh dear. This is not going good. Yes! Critical hit! Oh my god! Wow! How lucky was that? That was ridiculous. Oh my god, that was like the luckiest ever! Oh, I can't believe how lucky that was! If that is that key what I think it is. Let's just have a look. Yes, this is the place. The E key, ladies and gentlemen, is a weapon! You don't equip it, it's an infinite use item that does a set amount, I think it does 
um, 60 damage every time. In the early game, that is so handy, especially against you know bosses that have high defense, because it's always going to do the same amount of damage no matter what their defense is. The king is waiting for us. Hello, king. I gave up Nano to destroy the forces of the Dark Dragons. It was a tough choice to make, but the results show that I'm a true hero. Travel east to Winland. There I'll find a cave to another kingdom. Alright, this place doesn't have an inn by any chance, does it? And I'm not healed. Nope, that's lame. Okay. So just before I stop recording, I'm going to go back to this starter town, because there's nothing here. It's not too far away, and I won't die, because the enemies here are weak against anything now. I'm, I'm speechless about that boss. Like, that doesn't happen. If I had not hit him with a critical hit, I strongly think he would have lived and he would have used T-Ball on me or something. Oh. Using critical hits on me. For that reason, I'm saving. Because what if you run into something stupid? Never run away from a battle. RPG rule. Fight no matter how weak they are. Because it all builds, all the experience, all the money, it all adds up. This was the one, wasn't it? I can get free heal from this old lady. Yeah. And then we're going to see if they've got any shops. They do have shops. I'm going to buy a lot of stuff. Because Windland's quite far away, and the enemies on there, I think, are a little bit stronger than we used to. You know, and I'm a little bit under-leveled, I think. Hence why that boss was more difficult than he needed to be. So let's see, this is more important than gear right now. I need nine herbs, there we go. Oh, they do sell out, I don't see, okay. They don't sell them in chunks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there we go. I think I've still got one from the other. I don't need any of that other stuff, I don't think. Let's just check. Tea drop. Change the zombies back to normal. That uh, might be handy, actually. You can get zombification. These will recover HP. Let's put it back in the fighting shit. I don't know what that's for. Oh, I'm going to buy a couple of tea drops then, since I've got a bit of money. One, two, three, four, five. You don't need too many of them. You don't get zombie that much. Let's see what gear we can afford. You can get better stuff in Windland though, I think. Let's see. Oh, that's... Oh, it tells you, uh... I've got an arm pad, haven't I? No, I can't use any other stuff. So there's not really anything here. Let's just replace it. Okay. That's cool. So we'll stop there. And in the next part, we'll make our way to Windland. Which is a cool place. And we meet some new characters. But, spoiler alert, 